Uh, new day today. As all days are, I suppose, but anyway. Um, today I'm going to tackle this specifically a pull out table slash chopping board in iron bark because I like iron bark and I've got iron bark. Spent the last 10 minutes looking for this GoPro and may not have found it, only Rosie remembered that I was down here at the back of the shed yesterday cutting stone. So there you go, one of them days. Anyway, I was looking for the camera because I've done so much work off camera in the last couple of days that I thought it's probably time I brought you up to speed on where I'm at again. So we got cupboards up there, we got doors on them, we got white stuff ironed on to the edges. Some of them are a bit dodgy, like there for example. I don't know if I'll redo them or just maybe stick a bit of paint on the gap. This door was meant to open in the opposite direction. It already had the hinges mounted there. So those two doors were supposed to open that way. And of course I needed it to open the other way, which meant I had to turn the door upside down because it already had the hinge holes in it. 
and that meant that the handle holes, the old handle holes needed plugging, which I've plugged. Just got to spot it with paint or white nail varnish or something would be fine. I need to find more shelf holder uppers for this, but I've got a shelf. Just need to buy some holder uppers. Uh, I've got a shelf in here. Uh, I've got this door mounted. I don't know if I'll show you that. I've bought the tap, which I haven't mounted yet. I'm going to wait for the plumber for that. That's all done and dusted. I've got a plastic fold up stool that fits in there with a stopper at the back so that it can't get lost. Uh, I've sourced I've sourced a drawer front for that but I'm gonna wait until the ovens in before I put it in pr place properly. I couldn't find a single drawer front for this one but I have found two drawer fronts I'm gonna to have to cut one but make it like it looks like two drawer fronts with two handles on it but when you pull either one the drawer will come out I'll get to that I've uh, cut a piece of stone which is going to go here but I'm going to cut the panelling to fit it in. That's about it I suppose really. It just a lot of fiddling about with little nicky nacky things that didn't really need filming. Like the uh, iron on, iron on uh, edges which is done all around there and there and there and there and there and there and there. And there. So it's all done. Uh, I've made the pull out shelf, pull out chopping board for here. That's just about ready to get fitted. So I might do that next. The ceiling, it's gotta get done soon. I'm just putting that off because it's gonna be a messy, dusty job. Sanding back the uh, plaster on there. Not looking forward to that. That's about it, I suppose. I'll stop procrastinating. No, I won't. I won't stop procrastinating. I'm going to drink my cup of tea. Look at the view, which is quite hazy today. Hazy and maybe a bit of bushfire smoke amongst that. No real bushfires around, just uh, the rural fire service doing some back burning somewhere. It's what you might call a close day today. Humid, but the breeze is humid, overcast, with a coolish breeze, but it's an odd sort of day. I even bought my own iron to do the uh, edge banding stuff. Fifteen dollars. At least I won't get in trouble for ruining one of hers.
these nice black 14 gauge screws. Chip some concrete off the wall there. Heavy duty rails, I don't know how much pressure you can put on them, but it seems to be fairly sturdy. I'm about to put the handle on. It's just a regular handle, same as the cupboards. I've screwed the screw in already and then chopped the head off and made it pointy. And then I'm just going to whack it into drill holes. And Use some super glue on it just just for a bit extra. It's very runny this super glue. It's not going, not going straight. I nearly glued myself to the cupboard. Uh. Hmm. It's in and it's stuck, but it's not in all the way. And it's a bit loose. So I'm probably going to have to do that again another day.